So today I'm going to take us through a very light, intuitive yin yoga class to drop into the body and to give time and space in the day to just really be and to just really feel ourselves intimately and wholesomely in all of the juiciness that the body has to give because this body is a temple of juiciness with access to plenty of gateways to bliss and I chose for it to be a very light practice because it was inspired by how sometimes I can wake up feeling quite melancholic and the limitations flood my mind of it's too hard to get up, I don't have enough time to do an hour GC practice or two or three, I've missed the boat, you know, I may as well just run on to my errands or whatever uh, is expected of me or whatever has been prioritized in the day and then I haven't given that oasis to that space for myself in my day of just being. And it's absolutely fundamental. So we're going to start our practice with lighting a candle with an intention. And my intention is for the juiciness of my body and the juiciness of my being to flow through me, to nourish me, to cleanse me, so that I can return to my state of bliss and divinity, so that I can feel restored and replenished by the me very medicine that sits within me, by being able to open myself up to breathe and to be ready to receive. And here I also have props. So I have the block and I have a sarong, which can also be a scarf or a long piece of material. If you have a strap, that is optimal. And I also have a pillow. So we are going to begin by going to a light pranayama breathwork meditation and then into the flow of our practice and then we're going to end with a mantra for the sound medicine and to harmonize with the frequency of the body. You look at cybernetics and how sound frequency can come in and then you see the ripples and the patterns happen in the water. We are 75% plus water. So you can imagine what our thoughts and our sound vibrations and all these things have an effect on the body in that resonance. So this practice really is to just cleanse and clean and replenish the body. So closing your eyes, taking a deep breath in, allowing the breath to travel like a waterfall into your navel as it fills up the capacity of your lungs. And being curious if that breath can go just a little bit further and let it sit there for a moment and then allow yourself to release and breathe it out and then again breathing in and allowing yourself to drop deeper into your hips into your legs allowing your shoulders to fall back allowing the breath to just sit there for a moment allowing it to fill your cells and then letting the breath go again, gently, slowly, allowing yourself to be in this moment. 
And one more time, taking a breath in and allowing this waterfall to be filled with light and allowing this light to flood your body as it washes over your shoulders, your chest, your stomach, your pelvis, your knees, your toes. And then holding it there for a moment. And then letting it all out again in a nice, big, juicy sigh. You can even see if the noise wants to come out. And do it again, quicker. And again. And again. And again. And then bringing your index finger to your left nostril and your thumb to your right nostril. I'm going to open the index finger on the left. This is the feminine side of the body. And we're just going to gently breathe in and out of this nostril. Allowing your mind to become still. Allowing the stillness and the silence to replenish you. Allowing yourself to drop into your feminine energy, ready to open and receive. And then to balance this out, closing the left side and opening your right. Breathing in on the right side. Allowing yourself to feel supported, held, and safe by the temple of your body. And then bringing your hands to rest on your knees, taking a deep breath in. Lifting your arms up for your hands to meet, closing your fingers, pointing your fingers, rolling your shoulders back. As you breathe in, stretch your arms, shoot the energy up, bring yourself into alignment with your pelvis and your spine and the cosmos above and the earth below, allowing this rod of energy to flow through you. And then as you breathe out and release, open your hands, letting a big sigh out and gently, slowly reaching your hands towards the ground, allowing your fingers to touch the ground and the tips of your fingers to gently press into the ground, straightening your spine, opening up your chest, rolling your shoulders back, lifting up your head, opening up your heart. I am ready to receive. And then coming back. Bringing your left hand to your right knee and your right hand behind you for a gentle twist, slipping behind you. Breathing in, coming back to center, breathing out. Breathing in, bringing your right hand to your left knee, your other hand behind your back, gentle twist. And then breathing out here. And breathing in. Coming back to center. So now we're going to begin with child's pose. In child's pose, what you do is you bring your knees apart and your feet together. And then you bring your thumb down to your feet, and you bring your arms out in front of you, letting your shoulders roll back to the side slightly, and then drop in your head. If you like here, yeah, you can take your pillow 
And depending how far down you want to go, you do it like this. You can also maybe give it a little bit more support to your head. And just find where your sweet spot is. That's the most important thing. Most important thing is to listen to your body, to your being, where you are at right now. For you to go in on your inner journey with the breath and to allow yourself to soften and deepen. As you are here in this space, allow your mind to become quiet, allow yourself to soften, allow your chest to open up, allow your hips to open up, and become curious with the breath, become curious with the softness, just allowing yourself to be here and the silence and the bliss of your body. Allowing this gentleness to encompass you, the softness within, to flood the cells of your being. Allowing yourself to receive the love that sits within you. Let all of the noise fall away. The noise of the day, the noise of the night. Just allow it to all fall over your back as if it were water, as if it were water flowing over you. Allowing yourself to completely drink in the medicine of the stillness of the space. Know that you are holy and you are sacred in this space. And you can stay here for as long as you like. It can be five minutes, it can be three minutes, it can be ten minutes. It really depends on you and your practice. And, and your day and your flow and your intuition. Now I'm going to take us into the next pose, which is puppy pose. And here I'm more or less the same thing, where you have your legs to the side. And then just let your feet slightly come apart. And then like child's pose, come down again, but this time, have your chest come down to the ground. And look in front of you slightly. Again, you can take your pillow. You can put it below your chest. Just let yourself drop in. Let yourself sink into the space. Let yourself just breathe. And be here, see you at a 90 degree angle. My feet are slightly apart. And then I'm bringing my arms forward and I'm letting myself go into this puppy pose. And just breathe. Allow yourself to soften. Feel where the resistances are in the body. 
and allow the breath to go there. Allow the breath to be like a stream, visiting all the hard cracks, clearing out the dust. And just trusting the journey, trusting in that each little bit of breath that is coming into these spaces is nourishing. And as they come in a little bit more, it opens up space for a little bit more to come. Wherever you're at is completely perfect. Sometimes we like a bit of kush. And just enjoy it. Enjoy the luxuriousness of receiving, of being in bliss. And really allow yourself to sink into your heart. Allowing your heart to open up. Allowing yourself to breathe into your heart and the energy of your heart to just bathe you as you drop deeper into it. And as you allow your body to open in the areas it wishes to open. And to just go there, wherever you feel that space of opening, to just really go in there, to journey with it, to expand with it, to be curious with it. This is your body and your being. This is you coming to know yourself deeper, coming into relationship with yourself in these quiet and intimate moments. This is yoga. This is the source of creation. You are the source of creation, just in your very being. What better way to come to know ourselves better than exploring ourselves in these quiet spaces. With the body. So then from puppy pose, I invite you to come back up on all fours, making a tabletop with your knees and your hips, hip distance apart, and your hands under your shoulders. And we're going to come into cat cow. And cow, you breathe in, you lift, you point your bum up to the ceiling and you lift your head up to the ceiling and back. Straight arms, chest open, letting your navel drop to the ground and having a nice stretch here. And then when you breathe out, you first tilt your pelvis, so your bum comes towards your nose, front of the room, and you drop your head down to go towards your bum or to look at your pelvis while you arch your back like a cat. Like this. So breathing in, tilting up the pelvis, lifting up the head, dropping the navel, rolling the shoulders back, and breathing out, tilting the pelvis, dropping the head, curving the spine, Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. And then from here, 
You're going to lift your right hand up to the sky. Reach out for the stars. Pull them back into your heart. Send them through the bottom of your left. And allow yourself to come down. Then bringing your left hand either to the right corner in line with your right shoulder. Or you can take your hand and reach out behind you to touch your hip and to place your hand around your thigh. And just allow yourself to surrender and be here in this gentle bind. If you're in the bind, allow yourself to just drop and sink down into the ground if you are here. Allow your gravity to take you. Allowing the peace and the bliss of your body to just take you. Allowing the masculine within to hold you as the feminine receives and drinks in the bliss. And again, you can stay here for five or ten minutes. And then you bring your left hand out below the left shoulder to press and release your right hand and come back into your tabletop. And then taking your left hand and reaching up towards the stars, grabbing the stars, bringing them to your heart, shooting them through your right arm. And then bringing your right arm either into the left corner or to reach it behind you to grab your thigh. And allowing your heart to become curious about the space. As you breathe, allowing your heart to gently move up towards the ceiling as you allow your shoulder to drop back. Not forcing, not pushing, not expecting, just being curious. Curious in the creativity of your body and the journey it is opening up for you. Curious in your breath. Curious in just being where you're at right now and dropping deeper into that bliss. And then when you are ready to release, Again, bringing your right hand under your right shoulder, pressing into the hand to bring yourself up. And then from here, we're going to go into hammock. And so you can come to sit back down on the ground. And bring your feet together into a butterfly. And just allow yourself to gently move around here. Move in your hips. Feeling into that juiciness. And going the other way. Mm. Allowing yourself to bring your hands onto your thighs, giving your thighs a gentle squeeze, giving your shins a gentle rub, feeling that touch, allowing yourself to feel that touch, that touch of your own body, giving your feet a nice squeeze, opening up the soles of your feet, giving your feet a nice rub. It's really allowing that 
juicy space of exploration to be invited in and giving yourself a little rub on your heart. Breathe. So then from here, what we're going to do is going to go around our heads and around our feet and our legs are going to go straight. So tie your piece of material so that it's not too long so that your legs are floppy and it's not too short so that your legs bend. You want it to go around your head and around your feet and let's see if I get this right the first time. Okay. So as you saw my legs were bent so I had it too short. So you can just simply adjust it. And then, as you can see, you put your feet in, you straighten your legs, and you bring it behind your head. If you have any neck problems, then rather just lie down and just hold your piece of material like this. And this is tremendously good for the body because the blood rushes through the body into the organs, providing oxygen. And they say it's one of the best poses you can do. And you can do this up to 20 minutes if you like, longer if you like. But we're just going to be doing it for a few minutes to journey into the bliss. Going into a space of meditation and placing your hands either on your stomach or on the sides. Find where they want to go on your heart, find where they on your thighs, on the fronts of your thighs, find where there is an authentic expression that you feel connected in with your being. I found the spot here on the top of my thighs. And it can change. You can just really keep playing with the space. And again, just imagining that there is this waterfall flowing over your feet, running down your legs, into your pelvis, opening up your pelvis, opening up your stomach, allowing your shoulders to drop back and relax, allowing everything to just soften. Breathing in, closing your eyes, allowing yourself to journey with the breath. As if you were floating through the cosmic galaxies or deep into a delicious void. Connecting with the beats of your heart. Connecting with the resonance of its frequency. Connecting with the resonant frequency of all the beating hearts out there. How they are designed to restore and to regulate us. To bring us into a state of peace and homeostasis. Connecting with all of that. Connecting with your body. And then bringing your knees into your chest, releasing your feet, 
releasing your head, hugging your knees into your chest, bringing your nose to your knees, giving yourself a nice squeeze, rocking from side to side. And then bringing the soles of your feet together, bringing them down to the ground. If you have two pillows, you can put one on either side of your legs. And then from here, we're going to take our two fingers and press them below the navel. And then make circular movements with your fingers. And looking for the sweet spot, take them a finger lower and then a finger lower and move up and down below your navel in this area of the body finding where those points of bliss are it's taking a moment here and then bringing your hands to rest on your inner thighs below your pelvis and then running your hands up along your body, over your chest, over your neck, over your face, out, stretch them behind you. And then bringing the hands back down over your face, over your chest, down onto your thighs, rubbing your thighs up and down. And really feeling this deliciousness. And then breathing in, rubbing your hands up, breathing in all the good, delicious energy up through yourself. And then breathing out, running your hands down your body and sweeping all of the energy out. Sweeping all off. Like a bird in a bird bath. And then sweeping it off of your face, from side to side, giving yourself a nice bath. And then relaxing back down, stretching your legs out. And lying here for as long as you like. Just drinking it in, just taking it in. And then bending your knees into your chest. And rolling down to the side, stretching your arm out and pressing your hand down on the ground next to your face to you push yourself up and come to sit on your mat. Finding the comfortable position, Going back to the intention that you started with and bringing your hand to your heart. Checking in. Checking in with the space. Checking in with your truth. Checking in with your vibrations. And then bringing your left hand to push into your right. And having your arms in alignment, not hanging down, but showing up and arriving in your body. And breathing into your heart, pushing your thumbs into your heart. Breathing out. And 
I'm going to sing the mantra Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. This is the Kundalini mantra. And it means to honor the wisdom within and to honor the teacher within. Om Namo Guru Dev. No more. And I invite you to, as you sing these tones and sounds, to really just ride on the sound. Allow the sound to become expansive. Allow yourself to become curious in the space. Allowing it to be as weird and inviting and rich as possible. Allowing your soul to come alive. Taking a breath in to prepare. Oh, no. May you go into the stair as the waterfall, as the bliss, as the being within. May you be connected here as a safe space, held by your masculine and received in bliss by your feminine. Namaste.